I was in my 20s and I had an allergic rhinitis. So my nose were running. I had itchy eyes and like a blurry like head. And I thought my career is over in my early 20s because of that heavy symptom that I faced with that allergy. And I wanted to heal myself naturally because, you know, that those pills make me like sleepy and mm-hmm. foggy. So I was looking for a way to heal. And then I found that my mentor's class, a breathing technique, he taught us how to breathe, to use our breath more dynamically, taking in energy from the ground and really breathe like a tree. So that's something that eventually healed my allergy. And then I started to use, while teaching as an apprenticeship, I had a corporate job full-time, but I went there like classes mostly like five times a week. I taught the student and while teaching them, I observed all these kind of energy work and do the martial type of exercise too. And I started to applying in my corporate job. Okay, so what do you mean by that? What I mean by that is because in corporate, if you are feeling like tired, not well, it directly affects your performance. And by elevating my energy, I noticed that, okay, not only I heal my allergy, but my productivity went way higher. And my decision has become like a really quick and decisive, I can take the next course of inspired action. And when I noticed that myself, I elevated my productivity, was raised as like a manager level. It's quite rare. (laughs) So it's like a beautiful balance of learning Mm -hmm. as an apprentice and actually applying in a daily life. Yeah. And then when I left corporate, Mm -hmm. I actually take in all this, my learning into my own methodology, which is like energetic life design. And I currently teach perimenopause and menopause ladies who are having like challenges in their hard time, in their work and their life, actually health issues and feel relieved from those challenges. Yeah, that makes sense. And so we were talking a little bit before we got started, the energy works for any age. It's just you notice some very targeted symptoms that you were able to help. And maybe you could tell us what those are with the perimenopausal or menopausal women. What is it that you help with these women? Yes, because when I was talking with my coach, she talked about a lot of really annoying symptoms, like hot flashes and night sweat for the women over 40, and she actually experienced it. I also learned from my mentor and uh, my other mentors and Chinese. It brought me here. So I noticed that my wisdom that I actually practiced 30 years, I can help them. And I started to help those perimenopause ladies having like migraines or sleep problems or even really extreme fatigue. And I helped them heal themselves by letting them learn how to increase their energy flow inside our body using the breathing technique that I learned and also incorporate others as a medicine. So mm-hmm. those are the things that I help. The reason why I really love helping the women over 40 is that they have beautiful wisdom or the experience they already acquired. Mm-hmm. And because of this kind of really sensitive transitional, just like a season of the life to get to the next level, when yeah. they are like finding their own balance, I think this is also your teaching comes down to like your mind and body balance and regain your health and elevate your energy. Look at what happened. My clients like enjoying not only like more productivity that I share with you, but also having more a better relationship. 
or they started to change their career, even to do like entrepreneurial journey. Yeah. And something that was sleeping inside them, like it's like beautifully the seed was coming up, sprouting and f- ready to flourish. Mm-hmm. It can done in this season, very sensitive season of the year, of the life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When you pay more attention to yourself and your self-care. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense because if you're going through unfortunate symptoms, there's no energy to think about that next phase or chapter or season. And yet, you know, the best is yet to come. If you can feel, have the energy and the good health to enjoy it and experience it and lead it. As we exactly, say. yeah, and uh, oftentimes we are not actually trusting our body, the power that we already have, because we haven't yet tapped into it. And I should say, like a breathing work is one of the like very powerful tool to actually fine tuning our own uh, energetic potential, which I call like inner fountain of youth which we are not being taught in school. (laughs) So I love people, my students, like, oh, is this energy coming from me physically? It's not like uh, something that visualized, but really I feel better. Like I feel less tired. Wow. And then I could feel like more refreshed mornings, something we can really tap into actually if we allow ourselves. Yeah. Wow, that I'm a big believer in holistic methods who take care of ourselves and heal anyway, because the body and the mind, it's all connected and it's very powerful. But the way you use breath to move the energy and that fountain of youth is powerful. Oh, tell us, you were having a lot of fun over there on YouTube. Just started learning everything about YouTube. <laughs> yes. That's so great. I think I was almost 60 when I started my TikTok channel. <laughs> wow. It's yes. Fun. If you ladies are not doing something new or a little bit out of your comfort zone, stretching yourself a little bit, you're you're leaving life on the table. Like uh, we only get one go around and I highly recommend it. I stayed in my comfort zone a little too long when I was in the corporate world, but life has really expanded as I have moving out of the comfort zone. Beautiful. But CJ, when we left and started to walk on our own foot, right? And be feel strong again and do a one percent better as a YouTuber, everything. <laughs> then you're gonna have fun. And yeah. that's what I would love to share in my prime years of your life. It's coming. We are not done yet. <laughs> that's right. It's only just begun, but it really is expansive when you start to stretch yourself just a little bit. And as I've said in some of my programs before, you don't have to just go jump off the high dive if you're scared of the water. You can take one little baby step at a time because that comfort zone that I'm always talking about is not made of a brick wall. It's just like silly putty or play-doh or something and you can keep pushing on it just one little baby step at a time yeah i love the way you're bringing us to the possibility of just a stretching muscle exercise or even like a breathing exercise of expanding your lung a little bit at a time yeah and you feel get out of the comfort zone that's so beautiful and one little more side note when you take that little baby action Mm -hmm. that one little step at a time what that does is start reinforcing the new identity and beliefs that you need for that new goal that new vision it the cycle starts reinforcing itself Mm -hmm. because you're in motion. That one little baby step at a time, it reinforces the identity and your confidence 
to take another step and then another one. We keep expanding. 